Right, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tack Attack and today I'm going to be showing you one of the best methods in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for shiny hunting. Now I want to preface this by saying that this is something that you're going to be wanting to do post game and you're going to have, want to have at least a level 100 Pokemon. I suggest either having Maridon, Koridon, Skellidurg, Hariyama or the new Paradox version of Hariyama which is Iron Hands. Right, so to start off we need to get some sandwich fillings. There's going to be a little infographic right here to see everything that you're going to need. We're going to be building some sort of burger which is going to give us level 3 power in shiny chance, uh, spawn chance and title power. To get all of the sandwich feelings you need we're going to be flying to Mesa Goals or West. Now from the Pokemon sensor on this side we're quite literally just going to walk straight behind it right over to this store. These three stores here will sell pretty much everything you need to build a sandwich here we've got the tomatoes. Deli Q also has prosciutto, the red onion, smoked fillets, the hamburgers. Hamburgers are very important. You're gonna need many of those. You can see I've got 149. We're also gonna need the peppers. Then we've got one more over here, which will have the last of what we need. Here we've got the ham. We've got the lettuce and you need some picks, it doesn't matter what pick you use, you can just get the cheapest pick there. Now the last two ingredients that you need are the important ones and to do to get those you need to go over to the Poke Portal and you need to be joining some terror raid battles. Now this is why you need a level 100 Pokemon and one of the five Pokemon that I mentioned at the start of the video. Again those are Skelly Dirk, Maridon, Koridon, Hariyama and Hariyama's Paradox form, Iron Hands. So what you're going to want to do is take that level 100 Pokemon and go to the Terror Raid Battle screen in the Poke Portal. Now here you're looking for these 5 star raids like this Grim Snarl just below me. Now there are 9 Pokemon, you're going to see them right here. And they have a 76.981% chance of dropping a Herba Mystical when you defeat them. The other 90 Pokemon have a 24.308% chance of dropping Herba Mystical when you defeat them. So you can always press the X button to refresh until you find one of the 9. Okay, now that you've got all your ingredients, the next step is to choose what Pokemon you want to look for. Uh, the best bet is to go to your map and have a look around for what outbreaks are around. For instance, I've got this Combi Outbreak, this Kilowatt, or Watchroll, sorry, Outbreak, and there is a Draclog Outbreak, but I already have a shiny Dragapult. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my system settings, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, to the system, date and time, turn off synchronized clock via internet, and we're going to set the date, the time, to be 1 minute to midnight. It can be for any day, but now that it's 1 minute to midnight, we're going to log on, back on, and we are going to wait just 1 minute. New mass outbreaks have occurred. So now we can check the map and we will have brand new outbreaks. There's Psyduck. Could be a good one. Okay, so I wasn't too happy with the Psyduck and I wanted to go for something different. So I kept the resetting and I have found a Gyarados outbreak. So who doesn't want a red Gyarados? So I'm, I'm going to be going there to do my shiny hunt. Right, I'm here at the location of the Gyarados outbreak. Now, what I want to do is take into consideration that there are flying types such as Scyther and water types such as this Tatsugiri around. There's also Slowpokes. I think I think our best bet is to make a flying instead of a water. Yeah, there's Golduck, Slowbro, Tatsugiris. So that's a few different water type Pokemon that can spawn in, whereas it's just two Pokemon of the flying type, which is Scyther and Gyarados. So that's the type of sandwich that we're going to make. Right, so now you want to go to your options, and this is very important, very important. Now you want to make sure that your autosave is off. Right, and we're going to do a manual save. And the reason being, if anything goes wrong, and you do, or you don't manage to find a shiny Pokemon within your 30 minutes, you can always revert back to this save, and you will not have wasted your ingredients. Those Harbour Mystica are expensive. We're going to go to our picnic. We're going to make a sandwich. We're going to press X to go into creative mode. We're going to need our tomatoes, our onions, our green bell peppers, 
our hamburger and we need two prosciutto as this graphic here says for flying type then we need two herba mystica so we're going to go for sweet and bitter because the salty herba mystica is a rare find and they're quite useful now we're going to use a pick again it doesn't matter what pick you use and this is where the fun begins because we have to stack all of those ingredients and there's a lot of them onto this burger bun now best to start with the tomatoes get one on each side and one in the middle and then go to my green peppers and stack one on top of each tomato then we'll take our onions and usually put it on whichever side doesn't look the sturdiest so I'm going to put it on this side the sturdy side is going to have our burger bun then all we've got left is our proscutio which is easy enough to place on there we go, now we don't need the top of the burger bun we can leave it topless the pick is in and there we go as you can see we've got sparkling power flying, flying title power and encounter power flying all level 3 a tasty tack original hell yeah this is going to improve our shiny odds a hell of a lot it's also going to increase the amount of Gyarados that spawn in so now when we hop on down we should get a good selection of Gyarados spawning in for us here we go what we can do is once they've spawned in once we don't like them we can move away so that they despawn then move back on over so that they spawn back on in maybe if we stick on this side we'll get Gyarados only look at this so many Gyarados and we just go in and out and in and out until we find ourselves a red one now if for some reason you need to go and do something for example I need to go and put some clothes in the washing machine you can always press the home button alright so I'll pull up this tab you'll see that we are at 28 minutes and 5 seconds we press the home button and we can be here talking for you know 5, 10, 15 seconds we can be talking for the next 15, 30 minutes it doesn't matter you can go to work and do your whole shift and come back point is when we press A again it's still 28.05 there we go right I'm back and uh, I've got a different jumper on because as I said I had to go do some laundry and I'm going to pick up right where I left off Oh, oh, there we go, already, already, there's our first shiny, there's our first shiny already, hell yes. And this is the point where you want to save. Boom. <laughs> there you go, I told you guys, this method works. Let's go for our quick ball. The shiny number one. Critical catch. There we go. Right, so guys, I've already got the red Gyarados. Uh, I'm going to go and carry on trying to farm some other anim uh, Pokemon like the Kilowattrel and such. You're going to see what the outbreaks there are. I'm going to go and do some more raids to get some more Herba Mystica and carry on growing my shiny collection. If you found this video useful at all, drop a comment. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let me know that you like this, I can bring you more content like this. I stream this kind of shiny hunts all the time at twitch.tv forward slash attack. I'd love to see you around, say hello and I'll say hello back, and maybe we can find some shiny Pokemon together. Thank you, attack out.